What up, YouTube? Tim is here. Here is my opening slash streaming sample. We'll talk about the films and shows that are premiering this week, whether they'll be in theaters or shows. Alright, in theaters and HBO Max, we got Reminiscence, which stars Hugh Jackman and Rebecca Ferguson. Uh, it's about a scientist who discovers a way to relive your past and uses technology to search for his long lost love. Wallace, a private investigator, uncovers a conspiracy while helping his clients recover uh, lost memories. Uh, to be honest, I have not. This looks okay, I guess. I just haven't really been pleased with the trailers. I mean, it is Hugh Jackman, so I watched it anyway. Definitely feels like a Christopher Nolan film, so there's that too. So, it is from the same director of Westworld, so I'll give this a go, but reviews are not so great, so we'll see how it is. Alright. Um, also out this week, we got the Paw Patrol of the movie, when their uh, biggest rival, uh, Humdinger, starts wrecking havoc as the mayor of Adventure Town, of Adventure City. Ryder and everyone's uh, favorite heroic uh, pups kick into high gear to face the challenge, uh, armed with exciting new uh, gadgets and gears. The Paw Patrol joins forces with the safety of uh, the town to save the citizens of Adventure City. I mean, I don't really watch Palm Patrol or anything like that. Uh, my nephew Alice does, but uh, yeah, I'll, I'll probably give this a go because I actually do quite like the voice cast. Uh, you know, the voices include the likes of uh, Yaha Shahi, Ian uh, Armitage, uh, Kim Kardashian, uh, Tyler Perry, so uh, Jimmy Kimmel. We got some interesting voices here, so I don't know. I, I'm not much of a My Little Pony fan, but the My Little Pony movie was so bad. And, I'm not that much of a Spongebob film, and I didn't mind the Spongebob film, so maybe the same will be said about this, who knows. Alright, also after this week, we've got the action movie The Prestige. Rescued as a child by the legendary assassin of uh, Moody, Anna is the world's most uh, skilled contact killer, however, when uh, Moody is brutally killed, the vows revenge for the man who taught her everything she knows. As Anna becomes entangled with an inanimate uh, killer, their confrontation turns deadly, and the loose ends of a life spent killing weave uh, themselves um, ever uh, tired. Now, this stars Maggie Q, who is, by the way, almost good. She's one of the most gorgeous women in Hollywood. I'm just putting that out there. You also had Sam Jackson and Michael Key, both of this. Looks entertaining. Uh, definitely an interesting film worth checking out, so hopefully it'll be decent. Also, at this week, we got a horror movie called The Night House, uh, which stars Rebecca Hall. Um, reeling from the unexpected death of her um, husband, Beth, played by Hall, is left alone in the lakeside home uh, he built for her. She tries um, as best she can to keep it together, um, but then uh, dreams come, disturbing visions of their presence in um, the house cell to her, the house torture. Beckoning with a ghostly um, LR, but the harsh light of day wa uh, washes away any proof of a haunting. Against the events of her friends, she begins digging into belongings, yearning uh, for answers. This actually looks really interesting. You know, you got Rebecca Hawes in this. I've always been a fan of her for a while, so looks creepy. So sign me up for this one. I right, also have this week. You got the new Sean Penn movie called Flag Day. Uh, which stars Sean Penn as well as his uh, real life daughter Dylan Penn and his real life son Hooper Penn. So it's pretty much a family affair in this. Uh, and here's what's about uh, Jennifer Vogel's uh, father, John, who's um, played by Sean Penn, is lodged in the life. Um, as a child, Je um, Jennifer uh, marvels at his uh, magnetic energy and ability to make everything feel like a ground adventure. Uh, John teaches her so much about love and joy but also happens to be the most notorious counterculture in U.S. history. Jennifer now struggles to rise above the wreckage of his past while recycling the indecipable uh, bond between Dora and her father. Now this also has uh, Josh Brolin, you also got uh, Regina um, King is in this. It looks really cool, I mean, Sean Ch Penn is a really cool director, I mean, probably uh, one of my favorite directing films he done was uh, Into the Wild, which was pretty good. So, yeah, I'm definitely interested to check this one out. The trails look decent. So, so it's always cool seeing a family affair uh, in films nowadays. So, that's good there. Alright, now coming to Amazon, we got the new Amazon movie, Annette, which played in the news um, earlier this month. 
Blaze Network coming straight to your Amazon this week, so keep your eye out for that. Uh, coming to Netflix, we got uh, the new um, action movie called Sweet Girl, about a man who vows to bring justice to those responsible for his wife's death while protecting the only family he has left, his daughter. Now, this film actually stars uh, Jason Momoa, Isabel uh, Mercedes, and Dennis. It looks fun, looks entertaining. Definitely feels like those 80s uh, action movies in a way, so hopefully this will be decent. Alright, also after this week, we got the Loud House uh, movie for any Loud House fans. Looks like we got literally not one but two films coming out this week that's based on Nickelodeon property. We got Paw Patrol coming to both Dears and Paramount Plus, and we got uh, the Loud House movie. So, for any Nickelodeon fans, this is your week, by the way. But uh, anyway, um, members of the Loud House family have discovered the descendants of Royal Lee while on vacationing in Scotland. Okay, I don't really watch the Loud House, so I'm not really, I'm not really too excited for this. So I mean, if you ever had the Loud House, this is for you, I guess. But uh, yeah. Uh, anyway, also had this week got a movie called Habit about an LA party girl who gets mixed up in a violent drug deal and um. Rush Credits as a nun to escape a drug lord's rich, uh, retribution. Now, this film actually stars uh, Bella Dorn, Gavin Rosdale. You also got Paris Jackson, who you might know is uh, the daughter of you know, the late King of Pop himself, Michael Jackson. So, it's nice to see her getting into more acting now. I mean, she was pretty good on, uh, I think she was on Empire if I was, was it Empire or Star One of the two. Uh, she was actually pretty decent on American Horror Stories most recent. So, I think she could be a star um, to keep your eye out for. Hopefully, you know, this will be decent. Uh, now, also at this week, we got um, this COVID-19 documentary uh, called uh, In the Same Breath, uh, which is a documentary about a look at how the Chinese government turned pandemic cover-ups in Wuhan into a triumph for the Communist Party. Now, of course, uh, yeah, I mean, this is pretty much a COVID-19 documentary, which we already knew that was... Coming. I mean, we are getting more COVID based uh, related content and down the line. Like, there's actually a documentary coming out about uh, Dr. Fauci. There's some other um, COVID 19 based stuff. So, yeah, we're going to be seeing lots of, like, with this pandemic, you know, we're going to be seeing lots of movies, whether they'll be documentaries, uh, actual features. We're going to be seeing more stuff based on the epidemic. So, yeah. Uh, anyway. Also at this week, we have the new Neil Blomkamp film called The Monarch, about a young woman who unleashes a terrifying demons when supernatural forces at the root of a uh, decades-old rift between mother and daughter are ruthlessly revealed. I like Neil Blomkamp. You know, Chappie, I love Chappie. I don't care what anyone says. Richard Nine is pretty good. Uh, what else? Richard Nine. Oh, yeah. Elysium was pretty decent. So, yeah, I mean... I don't know if this movie's gonna be good or not, but hey, I'll give it a watch because I do probably like Blunt Camp a lot, so yeah. Alright, also at this week, we got a movie called Confetti. The film stands around a traditional Chinese family who faces a number of obstacles after their daughter is diagnosed with uh, the last, the, this last year. <coughs> now, this actually looks really decent. I just saw the trailer not so long ago. Looks really, uh, you know, looks like a really heartfelt story, so could be interesting. Alright. Also at this week we got a movie called Rare Beasts about a man, a career driven single mother who falls in love with a charming man named Pete. Now this film actually stars uh, Billy um not Billy Boy, almost said Billy Boy. Uh stars Billy Piper who you might remember from the uh clap I believe she was on uh Penny Draft Book by not second. Uh she's also best known for that Showtime series, uh Secret um, Diary of a Court Girl that premiered four years ago. She also retains with her uh, co girl co star Lily James, and that's pretty cool. Uh, but this looks really interesting to watch. Uh, could be cool, I guess. Alright, also, this week, we got a uh, Biggie Small and a Tupac documentary called Last Man Standing, where filmmaker uh, Nick uh, Broomfield examines the unsolved murders of hip hop artists Biggie Small and Tupac. Uh, so, there's that. Um, you know, the uh, surrounding death of, that um, happened between Tupac and Biggie has always been a mystery, so. It's really interesting to see more documentaries about um about what happened to them and all. I also have this week got a film called of the girl who got away about a female serial killer who uh, killed four young girls and sent her away to prison 
the fifth victim escaped uh, with her. Twenty years later, the killer um, escapes and begins hunting um, for the uh, for the one who got away. So you don't really see many horror movies with female serial killers, by the way. So this is an interesting um, change of pace here. Uh, I saw the preview for this. This actually does look really creepy. So sign me up with this one. I right, also had this week got a movie called Risen, where um. Disaster unfolds when a meteor strikes a small town, turning the environment uninhabited and killing everything in the surrounding areas. Okay, cool. Another disaster move. Very interesting. Uh, also, after this week, we got a movie called Crypto Zoo. Uh, in this rich animated uh, adventure story, zookeepers, ta zookeepers tasked with uh, safeguarding mysterious and endangered uh, mythical creatures must protect them uh, and enemies far and wide. Uh, the voices include Michael Sarah, Zoe Kazan, Lake Bell, Jason Schwartzman. Uh, the animation, by the way, looks really decent. Like, it definitely reminds me of the animation in, uh, in that Richard Linklater uh, film that premiered um, years ago. Uh, dang, forgot to name uh, Waking Life definitely feels like that animation in a way. Uh, looks really cool, so, could be, I like the voice cast, so, could be interesting. Alright. Also, out this week, got a movie called uh, Ma Belle, uh, Ma, um, Beauty, about a surprise reunion in the south of France to reunite um, passions and jealousies between two women who were formerly in a uh, polymerous relationship. Could be interesting. Uh, now, a couple of shows on that premiere this week. Uh, one show that just premiered on Wednesday was Nine Perfect Strangers. Uh, which is based on the New York Times bestselling um, of the same name. Uh, and it takes place in this uh, boyfriend health and uh, wellness resort that promises healing and transformation as nine stressed city dwellers try to get on the path to their way of living. Uh, you also got um, Nicole Kim is also in this, Melissa McCarty, Lee Devins, uh, Michael Shan is in this. That's a really cool, uh, like, what a cast uh, featuring that. It looks like, uh, I actually just saw it on my back. Uh, it was a pretty decent shot. I'm going to do my review for it in a bit. But, uh, yeah, not a bad series. Of course, it is from the same, uh, people who gave us, uh, Big Little Lies, which hence why Nicole Kim was in it, so, yeah. Right. Also, at this week, um, on Disney Plus, we got The Return of Diary of Future President Season 2, which is, um, which we're going to be seeing more adventures of Alina's adventure as she navigates the ups and downs of middle school. Uh, and her journey to become the future president of the United States. Uh, you got Jane Rodriguez who plays the older version of Lena with uh, and the um, girl who um, who like plays uh, you know the younger version of pretty decent too. So not a bad series. I'm def like I'm haven't seen season two yet, but I'm definitely gonna check out uh, season two whenever I get a chance. All right, last but not least, there's Truth Be Told season two. Um, so. I have not really seen the first season, but I heard some good stuff about it. It's on Apple, so... But anyway, let me lead you guys. Uh, which, which of these are you interested in checking out? Are you interested in checking out Reminiscence, uh, Palm Patrol, Protege, uh, Nine Perfect Strangers, etc.? Drop comments below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, hit that bell for notifications. This is Super Sign Off.